So now we're back at the input page and I told you that there are some tips and tricks you can use in the input field that can improve or change your results. So I'll show you that right now. So again, I'm going to go ahead and choose the same information. I think it's a child welfare social worker on the last one. We want a case plan. Here I'm going to paste the information that I had, but you'll notice I added to this one simple line. Develop a 10-step case plan that is thorough and specific. So although I already told it to develop a case plan, I'm just adding this little piece of information and we'll see if or how that changes our result. So I'll choose the same thing, a professional voice, intended audience, clerk, and length 250 to 500 words and let's submit it and see what we get back. Again, depending on a lot of different variables and factors, this could be a different amount of time each time you do it. We added a little piece of a different line onto ours so that could change the time that it takes for the result. But again, I found that it's usually between 10 and 60 seconds and here we go. Now you see, this case plan that we got back in this hypothetical scenario is numbered 1 through 10. So if you're looking at something, at organizing your thoughts in that kind of way, we could have said organize with bullet points or Roman numerals or anything. Just by adding that line, we got a complete I mean, I haven't read through it and I'm doing this in real time. I don't know if it says anything different, but it's organized differently. So that's just one of the little tips that I have available that I'm going to make into a new video coming up soon. But that hopefully shows you how you use the social work guidance section of the social work magic tool.